Ain't nothing manlier than a man wearing nail polish that smells like ribs. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christina again. Recently, a bunch of you guys have sent me this Daily Mail article. Nail polish tastes like ribs. Food scientists create a beauty range that's just like a two-course meal. Mmm. Wow. How could I resist? Two course? Why not three course to make it sound like a little bit fancier? It's on Snapchat, so let's read. The inspired offering, which takes its cues from Willy Wonka's three course chewing gum. This little piece of gum is a three course dinner. Bull. What? <laughs> is the brainchild of Australian food delivery service, Deliveroo. Is that like Postmates for Australians? They don't get deliveries, they get Deliveroos. The lickable varnish tastes of smoky barbecue ribs with a side of onion rings. This is followed by an equally Moorish, Moorish? Is that a word? Dessert consisting of a classic blueberry pie sundae. So wait, are they saying that First of all, you can eat the nail polish. And second of all, it starts off tasting like ribs and then it turns into tasting like blueberry pie. They advise against overindulging and state the nail polish is definitely not a meal. Sorry to get your hopes up, you cannot skip breakfast and eat nail polish instead. Scientists, food scientists spent their time on this kind of important research. Is it possible? Have food scientists truly created edible nail polish? that actually tastes like real food. We've tried edible nail polish on this channel before, like Kid Licks nail polish, whose original formula was basically baby food, but then at some point, Kids Licks changed their formula to what tastes like now pure alcohol. And we baked that into a cake. Should we be putting this in the oven? Beyond just Kid Licks, I've seen a few different claims of making food flavored nail polish before. In 2016, KFC made a fried chicken flavored nail polish, and it looks like a few different media outlets were able to get a sample. But other than that, I didn't see any meaningful reviews of it online or evidence that anyone was able to actually purchase the product. I remember because I tried to get it myself. I was emailing people in Hong Kong to see if there was any way I could get them. In retrospect, it was just a publicity stunt. It's like, send a bunch of journalists a bunch of chicken flavored nail polish so people will remember that KFC exists and no one can actually get their hands on chicken flavored nail polish. So, anyways. I was pretty skeptical about this Deliveroo rib flavored nail polish, but we were able to get a hold of their PR team and they actually shipped us a bottle. So I finally get to eat the nail polish. That's Ben's favorite snap of me. Ben, can I eat the nail polish? <laughs> So we got two bottles, came in this gift bag. Does it have an expiry date? Is it vegan? I mean, not that I am, but everyone asked that question. These are things I want to know before I eat the nail polish. Also, this is not sponsored. The company is not compensating me in any way to make this video. We just asked them if we could have their nail polish and they said, okay, and they sent it over. Nail polish flavors, roast chicken with thyme and blueberry pie. <laughs> So there's two different nail polishes. One is roast chicken and one is blueberry. I thought it was one nail polish that changes over time in your mouth. Daily Mail, you got it wrong. <laughs> Shocker. Directions, shake bottle well, wash and dry hands thoroughly, cause you're about to eat them. Best before the 8th October, 2019. Ingredients. Oh, this is interesting. Looks like we've got some gum, sugar, water, lemon juice, alcohol, olive oil, parsley, onion powder, imitation chicken flavor. Oh, it's not real chicken. May contain traces of nuts, eggs, and soy, tree nuts, sesame, milk. Now that's something you don't expect to see on nail polish instructions. I'm still questioning why did they do this? <laughs> Let's see if there's any more answers on the internet. The limited edition varnish named Polish Meal will raise funds for Polished Man, an annual campaign to help children who are at risk or have suffered violence. Polished Man challenges men and women to paint their fingernails in any shade or style to highlight the fact that one child dies every five minutes as a result of violence. You know, I might be skeptical about this edible nail polish, but at least it's for a good cause. As far as where you can purchase this nail polish, I had trouble figuring out how to get it myself, which is why we ended up reaching out to the Deliveroo team. But the Daily Mail article says it costs $20 a bottle. It's just unclear how you actually get it. <laughs> Think maybe you have to use the Deliveroo service in Australia. I don't know. You know, since this nail polish is for the Polished Man campaign, I think I'm gonna have to polish my man to test it out. Man! Hey Ben, you want lunch? 
Apparently, they taste like ribs. So I wanted you to have the first lick. The guy told me to shake it really well. He sent it all the way from Australia. What do you think the postman thought? What do you think customs thought? Can you tell by the smell? You can tell which you one's know. which. Okay. Start with the ribs. With the smoky barbecue ribs. <laughs> Ain't nothing manlier than a man wearing nail polish that smells like ribs. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it is kind of stringy. I like how it has, you know, the natural sediments in it. Is that some pepper? Interesting color. A little sheer. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not one coat. <laughs> oh, wow. That really smells like barbecue sauce. So the instructions actually say to apply flavors side by side on the nail to suggest, I guess, you have your first course and then you have your dessert right after. On the same nail? It's not clear, but I feel <laughs> like the adjacent nail would make sense because you go one, then the other. So let me paint the dessert on your right hand. <laughs> okay. Take that sentence out of context. <laughs> oh my God, this one's a little thick. I'm wondering though, why they went with virtually the same color for both of these shades. <laughs> Like it should just be the color of barbecue sauce, you would think. Yes, yeah, smoke it. Siler can smell it. Siler, do you smell the ribs? He's so hungry, he can't help us. <laughs> what do you think, Siler? What's your review? Yo, he's hunting. He's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's gonna lick food, your hands eh? now. Back to the color. Uh, the blueberry one should obviously be blue. Maybe yeah. there's a scientific reason they're both this like soylent green color. Maybe it's the glycerin or the glucose? No, <laughs> the, the vegetable oil. So it looks like the first coat is <laughs> silent. <laughs> Don't feed your cat's nail polish. So the first coat is dry to the touch. Let's add a second coat of smoky barbecue ribs. Because you need a second serving, because you're a growing polished man. There we go. Now we got some <laughs> pigment. Opaque in two coats. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but based off smell alone, this might be the closest thing to actually edible nail polish yet. Yeah, they really do smell like they would taste okay. Are we ready for the big taste test? <laughs> I guess so. You got to eat the ribs first. Well, are you trying it too? After you, sir. <laughs> Here, I'll do like the Daily Mail article. Ah. Mm. Tastes like really uh, that very generic barbecue flavor taste. You want to try it? <laughs> this is a thumbnail. <laughs> you need to get a good okay, suck of it though, you know? <laughs> It smells more like ribs than it tastes. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a scented nail polish more than anything, I would say. What is the application <laughs> of this, you know? Oh, I'm hungry, let me suck on my finger a little bit. Maybe last night you forgot to make your overnight oats, so just eat your nails instead. Come <laughs> on. You wanna dab my tongue? Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> make your meal fab. Put your tongue out, don't be scared. Oh. All right. Tastes like meat, and I'm not sure that's it a good thing. Like meat. <laughs> There's a meaty flavor to it. So this is the first edible nail polish that we've tried on this channel that actually tastes like food. It's a little intense. All right, well, you ready for dessert? All right, give me a minute. Give a glass <laughs> give me a of water. Here you go. There's lipstick on it, but it's fine. Blueberry pie. Give it a little whiff first. What's your favorite pie? What's your favorite kind of pie? Lemon meringue? No, key lime. What? Key lime pie, yes. Those are terrible. Ah, you tell that to my grandma. Those are outside of like even the top 10. Pie. Pecan, strawberry, rhubarb, pumpkin. Those are all way above. Yeah. Lemon meringue pie? Was that your first answer? Well, then I remember key lime though. So key lime's better. <laughs> Maybe next time we bake something with nail polish, it's a pie. We nail polish put, pie. <laughs> put the blueberry, <laughs> the blueberry pie. pie. Wow, I can't wait. Okay. All right, blueberry Stop pie. Stop delaying. Eat your, eat your nail polish. <laughs> <I'm> stalling. <laughs> Not too sweet. I still have a taste of those. <laughs> the rib one in my mouth. Water? It's definitely more subtle than the meat one. It just tastes like your hand. <laughs> what does that taste like? <laughs> you 
So like hands just tastes like hands. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we might have to try it from the bottle to get the real experience. Real HD blueberry cobbler experience. Ready? Open up. Oh, it's me again? Why don't you taste this? You one? first. Men first. <laughs> polished man. <laughs> it's like blueberry yogurt. <laughs> that is weird. It doesn't burn. <laughs> You have a low that's bar. A, that's, that's my last experience with edible nail polish. It's stinging. It's stinging. So I, I think this might be as good as it gets when it comes to edible, edible nail, nail polish. I'm shocked. And we have not just one, but two flavors for two different palettes. <laughs> Although it's, it's clearly got a shelf life. I think it's said on there not to use it past October. <laughs> So, I don't know, what do you think about a, maybe a hollow taco uh, edible food line? <laughs> yeah, and it tastes like tacos! <laughs> Duh! You could make a nail polish taste like anything. What would you make it taste like? Mmm, tea. Chicken tacos with tomatillo sauce. Is that what you say? <laughs> do you know what that is? <laughs> it's a green pepper, but not spicy. It's a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> what would you turn into a nail polish if you could eat it? What flavor nail polish would you? <laughs> what would I turn into a nail polish? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs> what flavor nail polish would you make if you could? I think it's gotta be hummus. Hummus, hummus <laughs> nails for sure. A nice uh, beige chickpea color. I don't think pumpkin would be good. Pecan pie. Cat food. For who? Sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, banana would be, I think, a good edible Why is that nail a joke? flavor. I know how you are about bananas. And I know how serious you are about <laughs> bananas, so it's not a joke. You could call it like amoxicillin. Oh, I love amoxicillin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best flavor ever. I don't even remember what that medicine was for. I just remember as a kid. Antibiotics. Like, Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, that you weren't supposed to have too much of. Oops. Comment down below what flavor of nail polish you would make if you could. What if I blindfold you and you have to guess what I'm feeding you? Isn't that a thing already? Like, guess what's in my mouth challenge? <laughs> Talking about food. Should we play that next, guys? Hey, look. You want a nail peely? <laughs> oh my god. I do not want that nail peely. It's gonna... on your mouth. <laughs> you don't want to put it in your peel it bag? No, it would rot. <laughs> like it would literally spoil. Alright everybody, well Ben continues to eat this nail polish. <laughs> Thank you I'm so much off. for joining us. And we'll see y'all later. Bye!